Yeah, that's right. This is where that shootout happened last night. You can see some of the crime tape is still left behind, and we do want to warn you that some of the images in this story are graphic. Sherman Thomas's truck is still parked in the gravel driveway, but today the weathered green pickup has bullet holes. The cop was hiding right here. Inches from where Sergeant Thomas shoot. Agredano took cover in a shootout. You can see how many bullet holes right there, 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 there. They're through the house. Clint O'Kelly was sitting down for dinner when he heard eight gunshots. He ran outside only to be stopped immediately. So we hear this voice going, get back in your house. It's not safe. That voice belongs to Sergeant Agredano. He didn't tell neighbors that he was shot or taking cover because Sherman Thomas was still firing rounds. Instead, he continued to protect others as he fought for his own life. He was standing there the whole time. He was standing right here's the bullet hole and there's the cop. Sheriff Steve Wilson says Thomas shot Sergeant Agredano in the leg. After surgery, this veteran limped out of the hospital, ready to get home to his wife and kids. It was just like relief and I just hugged his neck and uh, hugged him for what seemed like forever there. Just, just thankful that he was okay. Relief that the shootout didn't turn deadly, not only for the deputies who responded. The officer saved your life? No doubt. There's no doubt. But the neighbors who stood feet from the fire. He was more worried about us. He never told us he was hurt. Saving lives as he covered. He said, get back in the house. For his own. That was Kylie Thomas there with that story. Sheriff Wilson says Sherman Thomas, the suspect, is still recovering in the intensive care unit at Erlinger.